The horse is one powerful animal and longtime companion of human players. Before mechanical mounts, it was the fastest way to travel. In the age of horsepower, our steeply companions helped us in all sorts of ways, travel being one of the most important. Could you imagine trips such as the Oregon Trail without such animals? Thousands of pounds of supplies would be impossible for humans to manage without them, especially across such great distances. Human strength just can't match to their raw power. So how does a human stack up against a horse in a race? In the Welsh town of... Uh, alright you guys. Look, I have scoured the internet to learn how to pronounce this from the great wiki halls to YouTube and the Google Mountains. I just couldn't find a reliable source. And the best one I found that had the most votes on how to pronounce this town was Lanardy Well. Okay, Lanardy Wells. So how do you say uh, the name of this town? Charted Wells. Charted Wells. So, all right, let's move on. So every June, a human versus horse marathon takes place in this portion of Wales. This marathon expands 22 miles or 35 kilometers. Well, the average horse speed is 25 to 30 miles per hour, and the average human speed is 10 to 25 miles per hour, the horse would undoubtedly beat any human in any sort of race. However, humans possess the ability to sweat better than any animal, and with the lack of fur, humans can displace heat, making humans one of the best classes on the planet to run long distances. And, in fact, humans do on very, very rare occasion win this race. In the world of horses, there are more than 300 breeds, but all fit into one of five categories. And of those five types, there are three types of attitude. Cold blood, which are calm and level-headed. Hot blood, which are high energy, easily excitable and fleet-footed. And warm blooded, which are a mix of the two. Let's take a look at the five horse classes. The first is a cold blood draft horse. These horses were bred to carry and pull heavy loads. They are tall, strong, and heavy. The average draft horse weighs over 1,600 pounds. Some draft horses you may be familiar with are the Clydesdale, originating from Scotland, and the Shire Horse, also known as a war horse, or English great horse. Next we have hot blood light horses. Light horses are the opposite of their draft horse counterparts. They were bred for speed, agility, and endurance, and of course riding. Examples of light type horses are the American Quarter Horse and Rocky Mountain Horse. Gated horses are also a light horse bred for riding, but they are best known for their exceptionally smooth ride. Horses have three gates, walk, trot, and gallop. Historically, gated horses were considered a gentleman's horse. They were used for generals, officers, and plantation owners, and men of wealth. The definition of a pony is a horse that measures less than 14.2 hands. One hand equals four inches. This measures out to be 56.8 inches, or 4.7 feet. These little horses are known for their small, strong bodies and intelligence. Warmbloods are a middleweight horse created by the cross of a cold blood draft horse and a hot blood light horse. Generations of this refined breeding has resulted in the best of both worlds. You get a tall, strong, athletic horse with a sensible attitude and plenty of giddy up and go. These horses dominate the dressage, jumping, harness, and equestrian Olympic sports. Over time, horses started serving in wars, the biggest of which was World War I. Millions were deployed. Sadly, a third of them were killed. After World War II, the age of horsepower was over. Some parts of the world still rely on horses, most of which are third world countries. There are more horses alive today than there has ever been alive in history, and the majority are used for sports, companionship, or riding. Horsepower can be both literal, as a means to complete a task with the power of a horse, or mathematically. One metric horsepower is needed to lift 75 kilograms grams, around 165 pounds by meter in one second. The human comparison is one tenth of that, so it takes 10 people behind a plow to match the work and power efficiency of a draft horse. It's not as simple as boy or girl in the horse world. Any baby horse is called a fowl. A young female that has not reached sexual maturity yet, typically under the age of three, is called a filly. An adult female is called a mare. A young male, typically under the age of four that has not reached sexual maturity, is called a cult. An adult male is a stallion. And a gelding is a castrated male. Hello everyone, thank you for watching this week's episode. You can always gain some extra XP by hitting that like button, and you can always join the guild by subscribing to this channel. If you would like me to cover a certain class, be sure to drop a comment below. And as always, you guys, take it easy. I will see you again real soon. Thanks again for watching. Until <laughs> next time.